Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is a bit of a conundrum. Is it GB News or is it Charlie Mullins from Pimlico Plumbers? You see, the channel seems to be wishing to whip up anger towards celebrity turned political commentator and activist Carol Volderman. A bit like how they whip up anger towards Meghan Markle. But as the channel got into a bit of hot water before over comments made either by guests on the show or the hosts themselves, along with some of the dodgy antics of the people on GB News, the presenter Patrick Christie made a nervous U-turn as he realised the deep doo-doo his organisation just got itself into. Have a listen. You know, there was quite a controversial point that he made there about potentially the way that Carol, uh, at times, maybe dresses herself while she's on these ambassadorial roles. Lewis, your thoughts on that? I know some people might have thought, oh, that was a bit unfair. Some people might think oh, that's fair enough. I think she can dress her, but she wants. She looks great there. Why not? She's happy. She's having a good time. Good for her. Well, does it represent the RAF good like that with her tits hanging out there? Okay. Whoa, 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 <laughs> I didn't see any of that in those pictures yeah, that we're right. showing. We can't obviously say things like that. Uh, no, well, uh, what, what I'm trying to say, the certain pictures I've seen, true, does it, does it she represent the She can dress her, but she wants. Right. She, she's great. Okay, I am going to, I'm, I am just going to apologise if anyone was offended by that turn of phrase there. And uh, we were drawing it to a close. Sorry, I, I'll just sure. say it, it was, I, yeah, I, 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 I apologise for I that. I think I got the, the, what you were trying to say, maybe the turn of phrase was not necessarily that. Yeah. Yes, okay, right. We were we're moving on anyway, so there we go. But we did reach out to a representative of Carol Vorderman, but received no response. So I'm sure uh, we might be hearing from her a bit later on. So, <laughs> my goodness. Okay. Um, who is the fool of the week here? Is it GB News for inviting on this guy, or is it this guy himself? This Charlie Mullins guy, who's who's a regular commentator, it seems, on or a regular guest on GB News. I don't know if they'd be inviting him back. If they were clever, they would not be inviting him back. Because this is what you get when you invite headbangers onto your show. You know, people that you don't understand, people who you can't control. Misogynists, racists, bigots, sexist people. Th this, is the, this is the consequence of that. They, st they say stupid stuff. And then you actually have to try and do a U-turn here. You, try to, uh, you notice here how Patrick Christie, the host here, tried to... Uh, ex well, not excuse it, but try to, well, you, you, well, I understand what you're trying to say, but we apologize anyway. <laughs> it's pathetic. Obviously, he knows we need, we, we need to keep our nose a bit cleaner than before because there's a, there's a risk that we could get shut down. The, the channel has already let two people go over their controversial comments and their controversial behavior. So we have to keep our noses a bit cleaner than before. But it's absolutely pathetic. Um, <laughs> once again, I have to ask the question, who is the fool of the week? Is it Charlie Mullins or is it GB News? See you next time for our next fool of the week.